and binding decree of a court of civil jurisdiction is the ordinary and lawful outcome of civil litigation. So, Samula Veloch actually clarifies what declaration we're talking about. It's, it's arising out of a civil jurisdiction, civil jurisdiction. and it, it dealing with civil disputes of two parties. Yes, and therefore, my lord, if they had not, their lordships had not observed that, the disconnect between 62 and 63 was impossible. Because if this was a declaration by a criminal court convicting someone, oh, it means then a decree must be keeping in view Article 62 in mind. That is what they envisage, as your lordship sees. Or it can be when a person is uh, applying for the election. At that time, Article 62 comes. Yes, my lord. Because your lordship see, they say so that a prior decree can be. Yes, available. they say that, my lord, in paragraph 26. If your lordship sees the quotation mark where 63 is reproduced and 63H in particular, mm -hmm. after, after that, say we have already observed that the conclusion about the judgment debtor having character failings specified in Article 62 F of the Constitution that emanate or can be derived from a final judicial declaration would cause the permanent incapacity of a candidate for elected office. Again, declaration of a civil nature. And if your lordship turns the page, <coughs> your lordship will see paragraph 29 on page 441. Under Article 62.1F of the Constitution, the judicial declaration by a court of civil jurisdiction against a candidate for election to parliament would adjudicate misconduct of the candidate that has not resulted in his criminal conviction and sentence for more than two years by the competent court. Accordingly, we now consider the argument that a civil law declaration involving personal flaws mentioned in Article 62.1 of the Constitution should not carry ineligibility for contesting election that is longer in duration to the disability provided in Article 63.1 H of the Constitution. Then they mention 63.1 H of the Constitution, my lord, from paragraphs 30 to virtually paragraph 32, their lordship cite the previous case law from paragraph 33 to 35 and on page triple four. So, so Mr. Makhdum, one thing that we could actually rely on Samuel Abeloch is to <coughs> clear ourselves as to what declarations we're talking about. So declaration arising out of civil jurisdiction, which is our, an outcome of civil litigation. So several other de declarations which are not arising from civil litigation or civil jurisdiction are out of the picture. Yes, sir. So ek to limit ho gaya. So one benefit that one could probably draw from Samuel Loach is that the nature of that declaration is quite obvious. The second question would be, of course, the duration. But this is quite clear. And my lord, that immediately leads to two submissions. Your lordship, in my research, I have not been able to find out but your lordships may be aware better than me that I could not find a case from any common law jurisdiction where as a result of a civil liability and a decree of a civil court, a citizen is denied the right to exercise or the protection of a fundamental right guaranteed by the Constitution for the rest of his life. Criminally, in criminal law, it may happen. About a banking case. My Lord. How about a banking case? My Lord, yes. The it, banking case, he's declared. Uh, my Lord, yes. Debtor. Now, the question and is. The law says that if you're a debtor, till you are a debtor, your disability is there till you clear the debt. Correct, my Lord. Your Lordship is absolutely right, and that is why your Lordship will find that in so far as that is concerned, that is reflected in Article 63 of the Constitution. And Article 63 talks about, one, the debt having been outstanding for a particular period of time, and till such time that it is paid. The moment that debt is paid, debt is removed. I was talking of a situation where a civil liability results in a person being deprived of his right forever. 
because in this case my lord in the case of a debt as your lordship is rightly identified or utility bills not being paid the moment they are paid the debt is met the person is eligible in this case what does he need in this case also they say that till that decision is there you remove that decision you challenge that decision set aside that decision and your disability uh, goes with it. my lord the lordship say that determination taking place from a court of final determination let us say that first of all my lord which court is capable of granting a declaration under the civil laws of the country whether it be a section 42 court or a section 9 court or even an article 199 declaration that a person is sagacious a mean righteous non-profligate because your lordships generally grant declarations about a legal title or a legal character there is no civil court in this country which can grant that my lord now let's turn to the election laws the civil court under no, the what, election what, law one question mr my lord no, the, the, the two questions rather one is that whether the civil court has the jurisdiction to grant negative uh, declaration and number two whether that court has the jurisdiction to fix the disqualification of a candidate my lord my for certain period or for even for for life whether the, the court has power my lord my submission would be that the reason why a civil court can't do that is twofold number one the civil court is unable to do that because of the language of section 42 and section 9 and article 199 and the second is that such an issue when it arises particularly in the context of an election because the issue of qualification or disqualification will only arise in the context of an election that jurisdiction is completely oosted by article 225 of the constitution and the judgments of your lordship your lordships have said no election will be called in question the meaning under article 225 of the constitution and your lordships have said in javed hashmi's case that that election starts from the time the election commission notifies the schedule till such time that a candidate is declared returned or elected the decisions of the election tribunal your lordship have said in raza hayat hiraj's case cannot be called in question even in a writ petition prior decree b cannot be used 